Please subscribe math.com for any query, comment or email. Hello everyone. Multiplication of two matrices is our today's topic. So for that purpose, there is a rule that you have to keep in mind in order to multiply the two matrices without any worry. The rule is the number of columns of the first matrix in the multiplication must be equal to the number of rows of the second matrix in order to make the multiplication possible. Let's say we have a matrix A. This rule is very important. Without that, if this rule is not satisfied, multiplication is not possible. If you have a matrix A and a matrix B and you are going to multiply them together. But before that, you have to check whether they are um, uh, where whether their multiplication is possible or not. For that purpose, you have to check first their order. What is their order? Let's say the order of a matrix A is 3 into 2. Okay, we are checking the order. It's just an example. 3 into 2 and the order of the matrix B is 2 into 3. Okay, so according to the rule, if you want the multiplication to be possible, then you must check that the two that the one condition must satisfy that the column of the matrix A and the row of the matrix B they must be equal to each other. Now in this case it is equal. It means multiplication is possible. Okay, so this is the only condition that is required in order to make the make the multiplication possible okay otherwise the operation will be undefined in other case what can happen if the order is of the matrix a is 3 into 3 and the order of the matrix b is 2 into 3 you have to check that the column of the matrix a and the row of the matrix b or if you write it like this the elements that are on inside they have to be so Check them out. Are they equal? No. 3 is not equal to 2. This means that the multiplication is not possible in this case. Okay. So, this is how you can identify the possibility of multiplication of two matrices. Let's take an example and see how you can multiply the two matrices by first checking this condition and the method later. Example is we will take two matrices as these are the two matrices that we have for the uh, for multiplication with each other okay we will start from step 1 in step 1 we have to check the possibility of their multiplication is it possible that, that these two matrices can multiply with each other okay the possibility will be checked as we will write the matrix a here and the matrix b here and the order as we have already seen their order is, it is clear from the above matrices that the order of the matrix A is 2 into 2 and the order of the matrix B is also 2 into 2. And what we have to check, we have to check the elements on the inside. This element and this element. Are they equal? Yes, they are equal. This means that the, the multiplication of these two um, matrices is possible. Okay. Then we move towards the multiplication process. Step 2 is we have to multiply them as A, B. We write as how we will multiply them. There will be a use of dot product concept. Dot product is where we multiply the matching numbers. What we will do, we will start from this row. First, we multiply this row with this column. This is the step 1. Okay. And we have to write it here in the in the matrix. How we will multiply them? We will multiply them by using the dot product. Dot product will be we have to multiply the elements that are at the matching positions. Like this ele first element will be multiplied with the first element here. We will write 1 into 1 and then add them together. Plus this element will be multiplied with this element. We will get 3 into 1. That's it from here. Okay. 
the next step will be we have to multiply this row of 1 into 3 again we will do this in the next step for your ease left the spaces blank for the remaining elements in the next step what we will do we have this form as 1 2 3 4 and 1 1 2 minus 2 now in this next step we will multiply this row with this column this is the next step for this we, we again use the method of dot product we will multiply the corresponding elements as i'll write the above 1 into 1 plus 3 into 1 as it is and and i'll write the next step uh, dot product will be 1 into 2 plus 3 into minus 2 okay what we have done we have multiplied this element with this and then this element with this so this is basically the dot product so we have used the concept of dot product here same will be applied on the um, uh, second row second row will be multiplied with first column uh, with the first column in the first phase and then the second column so we will multiply these with this row with, the, with this column so we will write it as 2 into 1 plus 4 into 1 the next step we will multiply this row with this column okay we will write as 2 into 2 plus 4 into minus 2 okay what will be the answer the answer will be as a b is equals to 1 into 1 is 1 and 1 plus 3 into 1 is 3 we will write as 1 into 1 is 1 plus 3 into 1 is 3 then 1 into 2 is 2 plus 3 3 multiplied by minus 2 will be minus 6 we'll write as minus 6 then 2 multiplied by 1 is 2 plus 4 multiplied by 1 is 4 then 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 plus 4 multiplied by minus 2 is minus 8 okay so we'll simplify it as the final answer will be 1 plus 3 4 then 8 then 2 plus minus 6 it will be 2 minus 6 and the, then the end operation will be the minus and, this, and the sign will also be minus so minus 4 and 4 plus minus 8 is 4 minus 8 and it will be 4 minus it will be minus 4. So this is the answer of the product of A and B. So this that's all uh, product of two matrices by using the dot product method. This was all about uh, the uh, how you can identify whether the given two matrices are eligible to be multiplied and how you can multiply them. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.